All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So uh, breaking NFL news here, the New England Patriots have just re-signed quarterback Cam Newton, and this caught a lot of people off guard, right, including myself. We heard all of these rumors, um, especially at the end of the season, like right after the regular season concluded, that the Patriots had no interest in bringing Cam Newton back. He definitely was not going to be back. Lo and behold, that's exactly what happened today. Okay, so Cam Newton will be back with New England. Now, will he be the starter? I don't know. The good news is for New England is that you're getting Cam Newton in the building who, he number one, he already knows the system. Number two, last season was kind of weird because it was like the virus season and, you know, there was no camp, there was no preseason. There was a lot of weird things happening last year for sure that we're expecting will not be happening we're expecting everything uh everything to kind of go back to the the, the regular schedule essentially so anytime you have a quarterback with a lot of talent like cam newton yes he's dealt with injuries and yes he's not the same quarterback i'm assuming here i'm assuming that the patriots will be getting a better version of cam next season because he knows the offense because he has the chemistry with teammates because he will have time to practice and you know go through a full you know training camp preseason like normal right like like any other season now do i think cam newton is the long-term option in new england i don't i actually still believe that the pats will be it's tough to say. Really, this move tells me a couple things. Number one, that the asking price for Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson are extremely high. Extremely high. Okay, but we kind of knew that. And then number two, the Patriots could, because there were because there were so many report, uh, reports saying that the Pats were done with Cam Newton and, you know, they were going to go their separate ways and stuff like that. And we've seen all of these different quarterbacks getting traded, Matthew Stafford, uh, Jared Goff, Carson Wentz. We're seeing a lot of big names, you know, big name quarterbacks get traded. This tells me that the Patriots might look at Cam Newton as that one-year bridge guy if they want to possibly trade up in this upcoming draft for a quarterback. Now, the rumor is right now that uh, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, uh, obviously Zach Wilson and Trevor Lawrence, all four of those guys are going to be going in the top eight. And we have Mac Jones rising up draft boards very, very quickly. So could New England either sit at 15 and draft maybe Jones? Could they trade up? I could see it. I could see it because Bill Belichick isn't going to be coaching for a long, long time here. He's not going to be there for the next, you know, however many years. I feel like he's. It, 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 we're starting to see the, uh, you know, the end of the tunnel or, or the end of the the end of the path. I guess for Belichick's career, I don't think he wants to. I don't think. Belichick feels comfortable rolling out guys that he doesn't feel comfortable with. So at the end of the day, there was there's still some you know some small rumors about like maybe a Jimmy uh, Jimmy Garoppolo reunion, but I feel like at this point I just don't I don't know with New England. I feel like this is a team that's never real like it just in my lifetime. This is a team that has never really just gave up like a huge treasure chest full of draft picks or you know a ton of assets or anything like that. So I think Cam Newton will be a realistic option for the past next season. I think he might start next season for the team um, with a first round rookie quarterback on the bench like right behind him, kind of learning, just kind of maybe um, the same situation like like Tua in Miami kind of thing with like a Fitzpatrick, kind of that one-year bridge guy, and then you have your rookie. So at the end of the day, Cam Newton, or for the Patriots fans out there, Cam Newton's just, he's a good insurance policy because like I said, we're all assuming here the Pats will be getting a better Cam Newton, a better version because of the preseason, because of the training camp, because of the, famili- uh, the, the chemistry and all of those things that we mentioned before. And worst case in it, I mean, look at look at New England's record last season. I mean, this is a team that they were a mess on offense. They had a ton of uh, opt outs because of the virus, and they still managed to put up a solid record. Like like this team, like they had some notable wins. They barely lost. Like they they pushed the Chiefs to the end. They they barely lost to Seattle. They barely lost to Buffalo. Like you know, if the ball bounces in you know a different direction and a couple in a couple of games that the Patriots could have been in the playoffs last year easily easily I don't think the dynasty is over or anything like that um I, I definitely feel like you know Belichick and McDaniels they still know what they're doing um it was just a it was just a weird season so I wouldn't count New England out yet I still think they're a really really formidable team 
it'll be interesting to see what happens with Gilmore and whatnot. But uh, I'll leave it there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Cam Newton re returning to New England. One-year contract. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.